Hi, I'm Bill with IWT Tesoro, and I'm here to tell you about Luxwood and Chateau, our rigid core luxury engineered planks. Luxwood and Chateau are unique because of its 70% stone core construction. This makes it more durable than any other LVP plank today. Luxwood and Chateau are waterproof planks that require no acclimation and are easy and fast to install. Additional benefits of Luxwood and Chateau are the attached rubber pad, which gives it great sound control for condos and apartments. The rubber pad also offers great cushion comfort and makes it warmer to the touch than tile. Lastly, because Luxwood and Chateau are floating floors, you don't have to worry about dust when you tear out your old tile or wood floors. Instead, you can install right on top, and that makes it really easy because there's no glue or adhesive needed. Let's talk about the tools you're going to need in order to install Luxwood and Chateau. First of all, you're going to need safety glasses. Second of all, you're going to need a measuring tape, a pencil, spacers, a hammer, a tapping block, also a carbide tip blade, or if you do not have a carbide tip blade, a box cutter with a T-square where you can actually hold and score and snap the Luxwood or Chateau plank. And last of all, a pull bar. Let me tell you about the Luxwood and Chateau planks. It has two different types of long edges. This is called the groove side, and this is called the tongue side. And the, uh, and the opposite end here is the short end. And let me show you how it's installed. What I'm gonna show you in just a minute here is a, a locking system called an angle angle or an angle tap locking system. So it's important you know that that's the kind of locking system we're using right here. As you can see right here, I'm gonna go ahead and put my safety glasses on. I've already cut a piece against the wall here and you can see I've already put my spacers in place. And so I'm ready to go ahead and install the next piece. The great thing about this locking system is you can install the short end first. And that's what I'm gonna do right here. I'm gonna put the short end in, and then I'm gonna lay it down. Now I have to visually inspect all these things. I'm gonna put these spacers in place now. And one of the things I need to watch and see is this a tight joint right here. This is what the pull bar is for. So I'm gonna put the pull bar in place. And then I can tap to make sure I got a tight joint here, which it looks like I do. So the next thing I'm gonna do is make sure that it's actually perfectly straight across here. And visually, it might be just a little bit off. And so what I'm gonna do is I can tap it with my tapping block. But a better solution is to use a bridge. And we want you to use this bridge all the time. This is a, just a cut piece that I've used. And I've put it in place. As you can see, it's not laying flat. But if I just if I just give it a little bit of a tap, now you just see how that laid down. That tells me that it's fully engaged into this long end. And now what I do is I tap this bridge piece. And now this is perfectly straight. It's straight here. I can confidently know I can go to my next row. And so this is really important using the bridge. So let me put my next piece in here. Again, I cut these pieces. You want to stagger it in a natural wood pattern, a one-third, one-third joint. Something more natural looks like real wood. And so I got this in place. I'm going to go ahead and tap this. So what I'm about to do here next is I'm going to show you how both installation methods can be used with this, with this type of locking system. There's a called an angle angle, which actually is really nice because you can get put the short end in first and then lay it down about an eighth inch from the long edge. So I can see that this is in really good because again, you put it at a 30 degree angle, lay it down, it locks in, but you can see it's still a little bit off. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna tap, use a tapping block again to tap this end in. When an angle angle, you can pick it up if you need to, to pull it in a little bit. See how I pulled that in and it just came in and locked and laid down. That's really good, but I'm still gonna go back and use the bridge piece. And the bridge piece is gonna make sure that the short ends, these pieces are together and e equal. See, I, see, I can see now that my short ends are really nice, my long ends are really nice, and that's called an angle-angle method. The other method is called, it's called an angle tap, which I just showed you a minute ago, but I'll show you this, how it works. So this is actually, my next piece, instead of putting the short end in first, I'm gonna put the long end in first. 
and then I'm gonna lay it down about an eighth inch here. Now, if I started tapping down here, it's not gonna work as well. I need to put this bridge piece in for angle tap. That's laying down good. And now that's holding everything in place. So I know I can tap from the backside. And you see how that closes up really, really nice. The, the, the hard thing about angle tap is that if you have a long plank, these are 48 inch planks. And if I'm tapping from, the, from four feet away and trying to look to see if it's tight, I'm going back and forth. And that's maybe one of the, the downsides of angle tap. The angle angle method is great because you can be watching the long edge as you're picking it up and pulling it in and locking it in place and then finish it by tapping and using a bridge. And that's another way to do it. But they both work great with this locking system. So that's a simple way for installing Luxwood and Chateau. If you have any other installation questions, go to our website. There's a lot of answers there. And if you have any questions, please contact us. We really know you're gonna love these floors.